I'm going to start by placing my covering, my napkin, over the top of my facing of the clock to protect it from the spray paint. I'm going to use my painter's tape to get the edges. Protect those edges with the painter's tape. Now that I've covered it with, with painter's tape, and paper towels. I'm going to go ahead and spread, spray paint it with my Rust-Oleum paint. My white primer Rust-Oleum paint. As you guys can see, the paint has dried on the clock. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, I'm going to put my clock down first. And I'm going to show you. As you notice, the clock does not have a back panel to it. So I'm going to put a back panel to it. And I gotten a uh, foam board from Dollar Tree, and this is what I did with the foam board that I got from the Dollar Tree. I spray painted it with a metallic Rust-Oleum spray, and then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put a white and I'm going to put a silver glitter, white and silver glitter onto it with my Mod Podge. My Mod Podge and this is my, this is what I did to my um, back panel that's going to be going to my clock. I put my Mod Podge and I sprinkled my glitter on them and I'm waiting for it to dry and um, as it dries I'm going to be using diamond wrap around the outer edges of my clock. We're going to put it around the outer edges of our clock and I will be letting you know the finishing result and as you all see again here's the finishing product of my project
is um I zoomed in on it so I'm gonna zoom back out and let you all see the full effect of it. I put the background in on it, the back panel in on it, and I put the diamond wrap around the edges of it. And I it is I, I bought this for my entryway, this clock. And it uses a one uses one AA battery. And um, I also stuck Velcro on the back of the panel of, of, that I added on there. I stuck Velcro on there. And uh, if that Velcro don't work for you guys, you can also add that uh, extra, um, you can add extra glue, like either some type of glue, like uh, hot glue or... Uh, um, E6000 or um, another Gorilla Glue, uh, all those will work. But reason I um, use Velcro, that will work help the Velcro stick. And uh, I use Velcro so I can remove the panel and replace the battery when I need to do that. So that's the reason I did not hot glue the panel on the back. I used Velcro instead. But um, this is the end of the of the um of my project. So I hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you all tune in for the finishing touch on my decor for my entryway. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more in with it, but I'm not gonna overdo it. So. I hope you all stay tuned for another decor DIY. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.